we finished the spreadsheet. We have all the formulas in here. We double check them. You can always check with the calculator, which is a good idea. We're going to do the final steps. Let's say we want to merge and center. You highlight over there. You click on merge and center. You want to make it a bigger font. Bold. Let's say 16. Again, in this case here, usually it should auto fit. Sometimes it doesn't. Just double click on that line there. So we've got that okay now if you're ever in a thing here and you want to go and do something let's say with a number here let's say you don't want the two decimal points here you don't only want one and if I right click inside the cell now we're in the edit mode and if I do a control one it's only showing font it's not showing everything here so hit the check mark or the enter key and let's say I only want one decimal point. I can go into here now. I could have done it up here, but I'm trying to show you other ways of doing this here. It's going to show percentage here. And I could just change it to one. Okay. Next thing here, I want to show you a few shortcuts. If I highlight this here, and then I'm going to do non-adjacent range, holding down the control key. And then I go over here. I want these all to look very much the same. I could click on cell styles. It shows things. It gives you a preview here. I could click on that. Go over here. And then again, columns are too narrow. We widen them. And let's say I want the colors to match up here too. I go up here again cell styles I might want something a little different we could go into act you know contract contrasting here let's just keep this like that okay but if I want to make this one bigger it changed the font size there we can make it 16 and then let watch this I go over here I want this really deep I want it centered vertically I click up there now let's say we want borders around cells. That is often nice. It's easier to read. I would highlight these cells here. Again, put my finger on the control key. Go over here. They're highlighted. And let's say I want a nice colored border, like a burgundy. I click on border. I could use any of these styles here. As I say to people, don't go ape on this whole thing, okay? And I can click on that burgundy there, say okay, and not show it up. Let's do this again. When I did this, I clicked on the line, what I had forgotten to do. And I want the line to show up. I made a really dark one here. You got to click here. I made a mistake. Unintentional. So what it is here was like that. I could have said inside there. Or you can just click inside there. Whatever floats thy boat. I say okay. I don't have the formatting in here now. And what you can do, believe it or not, they have a thing here called the Format Painter. Things are going to get a little strange, but I'm going to explain this to you. If I highlight these two cells here, I click on the brush. It's going to pick up the font and how the numbers are formatted. So if I go down here and drag over this, yikes, okay? But I got the borders and everything. All I have to do is highlight these three cells here, make it money. I can go over here, make it percent add a decimal so you have to be careful when you're using that format painter that you're putting it in the right place like if I go over here format painter and I click here you just undo or go into the cell above format painter click in there it will match next thing I want to talk about is conditional formatting you can make something stand up. What we have here is this range here. Their total revenue. We want to know the top performing theater, the lowest performing theater. 
we can highlight them. So first thing here, highlight the cells, click on conditional formatting. I go into top bottom rules. I'm going to do top 10 items. I'm going to change this to a 1. You have these presets here. I'm going to go into custom format. So what it is here, I want to change the color of this. So I click on here. I'm going to make this a dark burgundy. And then I'm going to give it a light colored fill. I click here. I say OK. I say OK. So we can see that the Majestic High Rise did the best. OK. We got this thing over here. I'm going to talk about that in a moment here. We're going to have to put that formatting in there. Now I want to do the lowest performing theater. Conditional formatting. Top bottom rules. I'm going to go to bottom 10 items. Make it a 1. I'm going to change the appearance in here. Of course, you want a different appearance here. I'm just going to make it red text. Say OK. So we've got that there. Now, I want to just go into here. I just go into here. Make it red. It will match the red there, supposedly. That's not quite the same red, but you're getting the idea. I can't use the Format Painter here. If I click on Format Painter here and I go into here, it doesn't do anything. I'm just going to undo. We've got to have that color in there, that shading. So I go into the shading there. Fill. We had that. Font. Color. And I say OK. So I've got that there. And if I want that red to match, which I really should because you're working for a perfectionist, conditional formatting, not conditional formatting, we go into the formatting of the cell. And then I'm going to go into the color here. This is the red I want to use, the red accent 2. I say OK. And now it matches the colors here so you know that Majestic High Rise was the most productive and the Rye Ridge didn't do so good. So you've got the thing here. I'll look at the example that I had before here. A little bit different but in essence everything is correct. You've got your own way of doing it. If you want a little bit of contrast here you could go into here go into cell styles here and let's say you want the dark burgundy on a white background what you do here you have to do this manually you go into the font make it dark burgundy and then you're just going to change the fill you could go into a very light color there so you're getting stuff that coordinates